Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Dark Future Dice. My name is Pat and I'll be playing Variable. My name is Lindsay and I'll be playing Dr. Thirsty. And uh, I'm Titus and I will be running the game. So we're playing uh, Lasers and Feelings, which is not our regular Dark Future Dice. It's not Cyberpunk 2020 right now. Uh, and that's because this is the first episode that we are recording since uh, the whole COVID thing. Uh, so, yeah, things have kind of become a little bit weird for we're everybody. We're recording remotely right are, now. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever recorded remotely. Titus is at his apartment. We're at ours. Um, and uh, so we're doing this episode as a kind of test run. See how it goes. See if it works smoothly. Um, we are also using, um, different audio equipment. Me and Lindsay are the same, but Titus is using a different microphone. So we've ordered another microphone that's going to be better. So if it's uh, a dip in quality, as far as the audio goes, we're, we apologize, but we're, we're working on it. Mm. Yeah. We, we hope that, uh, works out soon. And, uh, we're, we're really doing this as a test, uh, just to get used to not, being in the same room when we role play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit different energy maybe, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. I mean, we've done a lot of meetings so far over uh, online s- since this whole thing has happened. Guys, happen, so. I'm already feeling a dip in energy. Yeah. We're going to have to bring it <laughs> right up. Come okay. on. All right. <laughs> let's, let's get started. Well, <laughs> you know? All right. Yeah. So let's yeah. just yes, let's dive into it. We'll give you a little bit more updates uh, at the end of the episode yeah. and everything like that. We're going to continue. Just in case you're worried, we are going to t- continue to do Dark Future Dice uh, proper. We're going to the Dollmaker storyline. We'll come back, uh, but um, as of right now, we're testing this. We're going to have the doll, a Dollmaker episode up in uh, in May. That's still the plan. Mm. Mm. So whether it's early in May or or later in May, well, that depends. But there'll be content coming out from us bi-weekly mm-hmm. still. So whether it's lasers <laughs> and feelings or this, yeah. Before we get into the episode, we'd like to thank our Patreon producer for this episode, Christian Fish. Okay, great. Um, let's get right into it. Yeah. So, you guys are on the bridge of the Raptor, uh, and events have thrown you into a rather tense kind of video call with Admiral Gorp as he explains the situation. Basically, uh... He says, this is Admiral Gorp. Um, We need you guys to go to Xersus 9 and negotiate with the Corbanians to allow Mm. Space Fleet to study the ruins of an ancient civilization known as the Mooglus. Ah, (laughs) Uh, yes, the the Mooglus, yes. Yes, uh, of course, the very famous Mooglus that everyone knows about. Uh, (laughs) Captain Darcy, as you know, has succumbed to a mysterious (laughs) space illness. And, uh, well, he's locked himself in the medical bay, as you've reported to me. So I'm putting the both of you, uh, the android variable and Dr. Thirsty, into uh, shared command of this mission. Dr. Thirsty has final say on medical matters, and variable has the last words on matters of diplomacy. Any other decision will have to be reached by consensus. Oh. Uh, normally, we'd see, we'd send you guys right back to Spaceport 9 to treat Captain Darcy, but there are rumors <laughs> that the Grimpen Empire seeks to go to the Corbanians directly and cut us out of the equation. Mm-hmm. The mission is too important to wait. Captain Darcy appears to be stable, at least physically, but uh, <laughs> I just, please she... try to make the negotiations quick. I'm sorry, what were you saying? It's Captain Darcy does not look super stable. I just... The eyes... <laughs> Uh, I haven't seen a picture of him yet in that kind of uh, condition. Uh, Dr. Thirsty, is that... It looks like an aneurysm may have taken place. Is that normal for Doctor for Captain Darcy? Or? Yes, we may have to up his dosage of uh, medication for his uh, it, brainstem. Uh, I just don't... It, it, I don't like it. It's off-putting. You may have to do that, uh, to do that forcibly, because as you know, he has locked himself in the medical bay. So yes, yes, of course. He's not allowing course. anyone in there, but... Um, if you do manage to get in, you find some way to, uh, you know, subdue him, uh, that might be beneficial. I'll yeah. consider it only if necessary. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just as an android, I find humans malfunctioning extremely unsettling. So this is... Uh, as an android, 
Yes. Okay. That's what I... Uh-huh. <laughs> what? That's I'm an android. Uh-huh. What you... Uh, you don't sound like you don't believe me. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you want to see my robot call... parts? Oh, sorry. This yeah, video... sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, we do need to uh, move this along a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, the Grimpin Empire is out there, and uh, we think they may be trying to move in, so... Negotiations have to be quick. Uh, we don't want to lose our best captain, though, so try to get him back to Spaceport 9 as quickly as possible. But the mission comes first. Yeah. Yes, We sir. are, yes, absolutely. Mission comes first, always. What, and the mission is, it is, well, we are. We, <laughs> we believe the ruins of Xerxes 9 may be valuable to our understanding of the mysterious Mooglu civilization. Mm. So we want you to secure passage to the ruins, authenticate them, and then secure permission from the Corbadians to conduct research on the ruins. Got it. Research this would be those ruins. A, Got it. Yeah. This would be a routine job for Captain Darcy, but you two are unproven and untested. So don't disappoint Space Fleet and the Allied Consortium Worlds. That's right. Mm. Um, we will do we our best, you know? Admiral. Space Fleet's everything to me. I mean, it's new. I've not been in Space Fleet eh. Sorry, a little malfunction are you, there. Are you so, an space android? Fleet. I am an android. <laughs> I don't understand you, your, you are your suspicion. Very, you with are this. very emotive in the way that you speak. I'm advanced. You haven't seen when yeah, I uh, androids have gotten much better in my. I kind of like tap variables head like hello. Well, it's <laughs> it's it true. Yes, the uh, <laughs> the empathic conductors of the new android models are, are quite uh, quite up to par with humans these days. All yeah. right. I'm awesome. That's the facts. It's a little concerning to me, too, Dr. Thirsty, that you, you can't tell the difference between a life form and, and a robot because uh, you are our top medical uh, officer on this mission. So mm-hmm. please, you know, be careful. I find it very concerning as well, admirable. <laughs> You're concerned admirable. about yourself. No. I'm concerned about you. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of concern going around, uh, and one of our concerns is the Grimpen Empire. So if you do happen to run into them, uh, we are looking for a peaceful solution because uh, you know we've just got over decades of war with them. So peace is always preferable. But That's we right. must have access to those ruins. Okay. Sure. So, okay. Just gonna write that down. Grimpen Empire. Grimpen Empire. That's mm-hmm. right. Hopefully, you know, it's just rumors and you won't run into them at all. So it it's possible this will just be a routine mission. Something tells me that that's not possible. What is it? As always, don't forget the Space Fleet number one rule. Whenever an opportunity arises, take the high road. Right. But, okay, so high road people. High road. Right. Yes. High road. Space Fleet loves to high road people, so... <laughs> That won't be a problem. Well, I'm going to want to hear a lot of high roads in your report. <laughs> okay, I'll take, I'll take note yes, of each one. Yes, Admiral. Yeah. So uh, the Varian Nebula will prevent any per- further deep space transmission, so this is your only chance to speak with me until the mission is done. Uh, the what will do this? The Varian uh, Nebula. Sure. <laughs> it's, you know, a lot of ionic interference. Uh, it... Yeah, no, it's in my files. I got it right oh, yes. here. Got it pulled up right here. Right. Picture uh-huh. in picture with you. Totally happening right now. <laughs> You're also familiar with Lieutenant Graviston, our security officer. Lieutenant Flux. He's an expert on uh, ancient and alien civilizations. And Lieutenant Gomez <laughs> is ancient the aliens. chief engineer. Did you say Lieutenant Flux is an expert on ancient aliens? <laughs> yes. Well, ancient <laughs> aliens and current aliens. Just any alien culture. Sure. Ancient or otherwise. Mm -hmm. I'll be asking him about his publications. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Do it. (laughs) Well, it's not important for this right now. I mean, we don't need to know. I guess, sure. Technically, these are ancient alien ruins, but... (laughs) All right, we'll bring... No, these these are most definitely ancient alien ruins. The uh, Mooglus have uh, (laughs) vanished from history, so we are seeking to learn more about them. And uh, this is one of the only possible ruins of their ancient civilization that we we know of. Uh, We're not even sure if it's real, though. So remember, authenticating them, part of the mission, before you get into negotiations. 
authenticate those ruins, hmm. and yes. then we'll negotiate with the Romulans. No, that's the that's Car- a, Carba- Carbanians. Carbanians. Yep. Hmm. Carbanians. Car- Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the Carbanians, Lieutenant Flux. Lieutenant Flux is like, uh, I'd be glad to. Uh, the Carbanians are a noble people of philosophers and poets. Um, mm. They are uh, 100% brain tissue. 100% so brain tissue. So you're saying they float around they in jars? They are floating is that... bl- brains. They don't float uh, so much as slink on the ground using their uh, their nebula stems. Oh, I see. A disturbing image. It sounds very fleshy. <laughs> Uh, that that would be an accurate descriptor of them. They are very fleshy, indeed. Okay, cool. So you know current aliens as well, not just That's the That's what ones. I was trying. Perhaps that got confused. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm an expert on alien cultures. That includes ancient aliens, but also current aliens. Sure. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, this is a great, this is a great team we got on our hands. Lieutenant uh, Garvistan. Graviston? 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 It's, it's, pr- it's pronounced Graviston. Great. Um, <laughs> why don't you... <laughs> why Real great you, Why don't you bring here. us about, I guess, you know? Uh, okay, um, as security officer, bring uh, us... What, about where? <laughs> about where, yeah. Um, to um, the planet, you know? Or tell okay. whoever's in charge of that. I don't... I, listen... <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Gomez, chief Lieutenant engineer, Gomez pilot. Lieutenant Gomez could do that for us. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> well, she might be fix- fixing stuff. You know, I don't know if she's busy. I'm right here. Okay. Here, oh, there you are. <laughs> yes. Bring us about, Lieutenant Gona- Gomez. So uh, we're done with uh, Admiral Gorp, then? Yeah, yeah I'm done, with, done you. with you. I'm so I've been done with you for so long now. <laughs> Go away. Okay. Well, uh, good luck and thanks. Do Space Fleet proud. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> okay, but what? And then he goes, and then he disappears from the comms as you guys pass through the Varian Nebula, hmm. uh, and distortion occurs, and you uh, enter orbit for Zerus Nine. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's, it's very pink. Yeah, I really thought it would be prettier up close. Kind of mm. disappointed, but it's. Uh... What were you expecting? The Carbanians, know, Lieutenant like... Flux uh, speaks up. The Carbanians live inside dome cities filled with uh, all sorts of vegetation. It's actually quite amazing. Well, Why I... did it need vegetation if they're just brains? That's a good question. Um, they, they still eat. How would they so... eat? I'm very interested in their anatomy, in fact. How, how would well, they digest uh, they're, things? Their um, <laughs> brain tissue... Has formed a sort of uh, brain stomach uh, and some brain intestines, and uh, they have a brain digestive system. I see. It's all made of brain tissue, so they can sort of think with their stomachs. Oh, and don't their we all colons. though? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it it functions very much like ours does. All right. Well, I can't wait to meet one. Let's see what that looks okay. like. <laughs> So, uh, Lieutenant Gomez and uh, Lieutenant uh, Graviston, Gra- mm-hmm. Graviston. Yeah. we Graviston. are, uh, we're, I'm now thinking, let's get down there. How would you uh, recommend we do that? Well, we could just trance, and then as they're saying that, a alien ship enters into attack formation and the raptor automatically goes into red alert. Oh, Jesus. I told you to take that thing off a hair trigger, uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Gomez. It's really Our security annoying. is really too sensitive. Yeah. We just want to talk, obviously, and now all of a sudden we got a red flashing light and it's really distracting. Uh, hail them, please. Um, whoever's in charge of that? that uh, yeah. Lieutenant Gomez? Okay. Um, a Grimpin comes onto the comms. Oh, there's the first Grimpin. We meet again, Captain uh, Darcy. Wait, who are you guys? Who are you? Yeah. Well, I, who am I? I'm Darcy Gull. Uh huh. Of the Grimpin Empire. Well, you come Where's in here Captain with a lot Darcy? of. You're coming in here with a lot of energy. I feel like that's a little bit much. Uh, you know, it's pretty aggressive. This is how you meet people usually. Yes. 
And I whispered to Dr. Thirsty, a little high road, a little high road already. Mm. Wasn't very good, but... So... Do you always meet people with such spineless blatherings? Uh, no. Usually I'm a little bit more uh, forceful. Um, kind of, but less Captain, rude than you are. Captain, may I have, may I address you as such? Uh, yes. Yes, I am the captain. Hmm. You don't what? sound sure of yourself there. <laughs> what, what, uh, what planet do you hail from, Darcy? Well, um, uh, as a Grimpin, I come from Grimpus. <laughs> oh, man. It must feel like Grimpus 24-7 over there. Do all of you have such prominent, beautiful, high foreheads? Uh, mine is especially high and prominent. I'm a, I'm a excellent specimen of a Grimpin. Interesting. I've been told uh, I'm quite conventionally attractive for a Grimpin. I can see that. Mm. <laughs> you shouldn't feel either way because you're an android. <laughs> I have feelings, okay? They're programmed in me. Uh huh. And uh, they're, you know, real to a degree. So, Darcy, what can we do for you today? Mm, please don't call me by my first name. Captain. I hate it. Captain, then. Mm. Gull? Gull, yes. There we my go. family name. My proud name. Mm. Yeah. It's Darcy a- is a, a shameful name. Well, I well, mean. I beg to you- differ. Uh, Darcy is a very interesting interesting choice in name but it does help you stand out it softens you up a little bit which is good you know i think you got you're very angular and uh you need a little bit of uh, (laughs) friendly kind of uh window dressing i don't feel it helps me stand out at all i feel i have to be in the shadow of captain darcy with this terrible name Oh, uh, yeah, you guys have, like, a whole thing where you got to be darcy g and he's got to be darcy whatever his last name is Right now, he's Darcy we've got, a, we've got a whole thing where my dad lost a bet to Captain Darcy and had to name <laughs> his firstborn son Darcy. And it's a shameful name for a Grimpin to be called. I see. You got to own that shame, though, Darcy. Um, Maybe you could change it up, put an apostrophe in there. You'd like, Darcy. Take it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, take it back, you know? You could go by Dar. Or Dar. Or or C. Or, C. or Seagull. 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 Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I will. I will allow you to call me either Captain Gull or Seagull. Perfect. So, Seagull, what can we do for you today? Well, I believe we're here for the same reason: to negotiate access to the ruins on Corsurus Nine <laughs> from mm. the Corbadians. Sure. Totally. So, um. How do you want to do this? Take turns or draw some no. straws? No. Nope. We will do this together. I I want to make sure you don't use any underhanded tactics on the negotiation. Team. Oh, me? Underhanded? No, we're all about no, we're we, all about the overhand. Uh, overhand, yeah. As high uh, that hand has to be as high as possible. Mm-hmm. On the road that we're on. Yeah. <laughs> the road we travel. I don't understand your human. Idioms. Uh, excuse me, I am an android. Uh, and so... I'm a uh, plutonium? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm I not see. Human. So, I mean, like, just wrong across the board on that one. Mm. And, uh, Plutonians. You might, might wanna... where, do, where do you hail from? What planet? P- Plutonia. Plutonia? Mm-hmm. Tell me about your planet. I, I haven't heard of Plutonia. Well, it's not much. It's part of the reason why. <laughs> it's not much. It's, just <laughs> it's part planet. of the reason why I uh, just joined the fleet so that I could get out of there. Everyone's so uptight there, you know. Uh, I can't get, I can't make friends with other Plutoniums, honestly. Um, sounds really difficult for you. Yeah. Very relatable. I'm having trouble making friends with Grimpins as well. It, it's but, in my, uh, my belief that we should all meet together and in a cultural melting, mel- melting pot of sorts. Mm. Also part of the reason why I joined the Starfleet. It's a uh, you mean Space Fleet? Space Fleet. <laughs> <laughs> I, what is this Starfleet that you speak of? <laughs> Why would you center everything around stars? They're just one part of the of space in general. Yeah, exactly. Seems mm-hmm. unnecessary. There's a lot of space that isn't stars. There's more non-star space than star space. You're you know? right. You're right. 
Yeah, it's just, uh, it seems inefficient. Inefficient. I know what's happening. But so. that is that is the reason why I joined Space Fleet, was to uh, meet other aliens and learn about their cultures mm -hmm. and make mm. friends and maybe more than friends. Listen, I mean, we'll hear more about your personal agenda later, but this is a, a conference call. Oh, about, I'm sorry. Was yeah. I stepping all over you? You were stepping on the video call, mm. uh, frankly. Uh, we, we need to get down to business here. And uh, I think our business can go hand in hand. I see no reason why we can't work together on this, Darcy Gull. Uh, yeah, okay. So we will meet on the surface. Mm hmm Yeah. And we will conduct this business together then. Yeah. I'd be delighted. Yeah, I'll text you. <laughs> okay. Can you I will accept your space text shortly. Yeah, send me your, just send me your number. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm putting my, my number up. You know what? You text me. I'll, I'll put what my number. What is this? We have video comms. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, I mean, it's just will... more efficient to text, you know? Why don't we just meet down on the surface in 15 minutes, and then we don't have to do this space texting back and forth? Right, but what if something happens, you know? like the Well, we'll the just wait for you there. Okay. All right. That's fine. It's a little archaic, but sure. <laughs> Are All you right. calling our... Well, I'm not calling any. It's fine. I'm not. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. It's just you know, as an android, I find a uh, certain thing. I find I try to lean on technology. Variable and I, isn't very personable. I I apologize for them. I am the negotiating. Yes, officer. you are. You are much more easy to deal with, Doctor Thirsty. Thank you. Thank uh, you. This is insulting. We'll we'll see you in a bit, Seagull. Can you feel an insult? Is that a possible thing that an android can? I do? have fe feel. Insulted? Thankfully, I'm in, I'm insulted <laughs> by that question. Yes, I have feelings. They're, they're programmed in me. I said already. They're you know in my uh, uh, certain certain cortexes. I don't have access to and that's one of them and it's uh and uh yeah Maybe we have access to them we can fix you up and i take don't that want you to take away from my feelings it's away. extremely invasive uh-huh yeah mm. i find well, an android that emotes that <laughs> that way very invasive <laughs> i just I, what uh, okay i see Never what you're mind. all about it's fine <laughs> We're going to end the call mm, now. So this is this is the classic <laughs> space fleet cooperation I see on display here. I look forward to seeing you down on the surface. God damn it. All right, fine. All right. See you, Seagull. <sighs> he got a high road on us. You see, that's what happens. We yeah, got to work together did. unless we're going to we're going to get high roaded. Okay, but you're going to have to stop stepping all over me here. <laughs> you're going to have to stop make, being weird about androids around me. It's kind well, of upsetting. Well, you're going to stop being a weird android. <laughs> well, that's you're just doing it again. You're being weird about androids. No, I'm, I'm being a weird about you who happens to be an android. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. That's just... Uh, I don't <laughs> so even know I what to do with that, Dr. Thirsty. Lieutenant Graviston, Lieutenant Flux, and Lieutenant Gomez are just kind of awkwardly standing around while you guys have this <laughs> serious... Kind of debate, looking at each other sideways. Yeah. Confused. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I oh, mean, we'll all call and flick to side. We better get down there. Yeah, I guess we only got 15 minutes because no one wanted to text or anything. Just a simple number exchange, but mm. got complicated because, you know what? Let's just go. Uh, okay. Well, Lieutenant Gomez is like, I should stay aboard the ship, though. Mm. Yeah. Sure. You think Keep so? Keep things running. Mm hmm. That makes sense. Uh, I'll be aboard the ship. Uh, let me know if there's any engineering problems, but I don't foresee any on a, a ruined, you know, a, a ruin. Yeah, uh, a ruined ruin. <laughs> but you should take Ensign Luckless. We're going to take... Oh, hey. Hello, Luckless. Hi. Fresh out of Starfleet, Space Fleet. <laughs> I did it. Fresh out of Space Fleet. It's Ensign. It's Ensign Luckless. Hello, Ensign. A, Welcome. What's just a, a happy-go-lucky red shirt? Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's learn a little bit about you, Ensign Luckless. You got a family? I don't. You don't. Oh, That's shocking. That is surprising. You don't have, have to carry no, a picture. S Space Fleet's my family. Oh, okay. Uh, you got. A, mm. What about a bright future ahead of you? Definitely. You I. Got, uh, <laughs> I have big plans. I hope to. Hope to pilot my own, you know, be a captain of a ship one day. Just oh, like man. Captain Darcy. 
Sure. You want, you hang on to those dreams because you're gonna get there. I see it in your eyes. Ensign, just just stay stay close to me. You know, uh, okay. it, it'll it'll do you well. I I feel it'll do you well. Yeah, she is a doctor, I guess. Yes. So I can't argue. Stay, stay oh, right okay. in, right in front of her. Mm-hmm. Right right in front of me. Yeah. Like five feet. It'll be I, okay. <laughs> it's an interesting formation, but uh, I'll be standing right in front of you. And uh, Doctor Gomez, before we go, I've, I got a little backup plan here for f- for for you. If I any- appreciate you calling me a doctor, but as an engineer, I'm just a <laughs> lieutenant. What? They don't make the engineers get their doctorates anymore? No, I'm the only one with uh, a no. doctorate. Thank you. Wow, I'm uh, slipping. I like it's to think slippers. of myself as a doctor of space technology, but they don't give that diploma yeah, here's, out. He, okay, here's a little bit of advice for you, Edson. Maybe uh, don't talk as much when we're making negotiations. You, what? Ensign? Me? You're talking to no about... Ensign. Okay, well, why are you Ensign? talking to Ensign? I'm talking to I'm talking to Lieutenant Gomez right now. Oh, okay. And telling yeah. Lieutenant Gomez if anything goes awry, we might want you to fly down in our attack uh you know Velasso in our fighter. Yeah, mini attack shuttle so um, fly down and then attack everyone you know that thing <laughs> i mean the, if what? i okay. say if i say to attack you, everyone you said to arm our alert system less sensitively but then you have the Velasso be able to be dis- i'm saying this is deployed this at is any emer- moment this is an emergency <laughs> plan right we're not okay this is not you know I'm not gonna do. Not we're gonna in ra- an emergency situation already. No, I'm saying if we're in an emergency. Oh, okay. Backup plan. It's all good. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Uh-huh. Should we have a, a you know cool space fleet name for that? So you you call me up and say something like variable nine. And oh, then I wouldn't I say come my down name. In the, hmm? That'd be weird to say variable. That'd be my name and then nine. That's just weird. Well, it's t- you know Attack. usually people. Uh, Name their attack formations after themselves. Oh. In the space fleet. Huh. I think I want to call it uh, Operation um, Gumball. Operation Gumball. Operation <laughs> the Gumballs are loose. Actually, that's better. Operation the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess if you want to be, you know, cliche about it, but sure. Hmm. We'll call it Operation Gumballs are out of the bag. Okay. So, just to be clear... <laughs> Operation Gumballs are out of the bag? That's right. Okay. And then I fly down in the fighter craft and just start shooting everything? Uh, yeah. I mean, depending on... Uh, I might, like, say Operation Gumballs are out of the bag, target the, uh, the um, you know, the ones that we don't like. The ones that we don't like. <laughs> um, the Grimbins? Yeah, the Grimbins. Maybe. It's a case by case basis. The uh, you'll you'll get the you know grimpins. basically, yeah. You'll get you. I'll I'll specify more, but if not, it's everybody, including us. Not us. Yeah. Well, obviously, um, obviously, we obviously not us. We would be in the fire because like the Velasco doesn't have that at, like precise aim. I'm not imagining. <laughs> um, not if we're just shooting. You know. If yeah, we're just like spraying. spraying. <laughs> we could we could get pretty precise if we have a, a specific target in mind. Yeah, I'll, I'll you know when the time comes, I'll know the targets and I'll tell you the targets. Uh huh. Should I wait in the Velasco then for your orders? No, 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 no. That's you know just hop in there if you need to. Operation Gumball, you go, you hop in the the, the shuttle, <laughs> you come down, and you just rain you rain terror on whoever I tell you to. Okay. It's not complicated. I don't know why you're making it weird. It just doesn't seem very it's, space fleet. No, it's but... not very space fleet <laughs> Listen, at all. this is not plan A. This is like plan D, you know? This is plan... What are the other four plans before that, though? <laughs> uh, I'll make them up as we go. Oh, yeah. you're going to make up all the plans yourself? All right, we'll share making them up as we go. We I can alternate. We can come up with them on the plan spot. A, plan A is just... It's negotiate. Right? Negotiate. We're going to be civil. We're going to be of cool course. about it. Take the high road. Yeah. Plan B is we're going to have to um, charm them a little bit. Lie. You know. Or charm. Sneak. That kind of stuff. Mm. Charm, lie, sneak, whatever we got to do. Be a little shifty mm-hmm. about it. Plan C 
uh, you know, just, you know, no. we'll figure it out. Hmm. Plan, plan D, C shoot everybody. Of... Plan okay. D, okay, here's plan C, right? Uh -huh. Shoot some people. Plan D, <laughs> shoot everybody. everybody. So it's a suicide mission at that point. Uh, basically. I'm very uncomfortable with this variable, I have to say. I think, honestly, A is going to work. And if not, B will probably work. And if mm. not that, C will probably work. If every, You know what? That's the whole plan. You don't want <laughs> to have no plan if every... It's fine. What, does everyone agree on the plan structure? Uh, well, I can't you think guys of are in better. charge, so... So we're good. We'll go with what you say. Great. I'm glad that we're all in agreement on that one. Right, so... Without further ado, we got we got Ensign Luckless, mm -hmm. uh, mm. Lieutenant Flux. You're coming. Flux and Lux. You cool with that, Lieutenant? Uh, yeah, obviously. I I'd be the perfect person to authenticate the ruins. Great. And Lieutenant uh, Gravison, mm. you're Thank coming. Thank you for too. saying my name correctly. You're right. You're 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 welcome. Um. Uh, yes, I'm. <laughs> I'll be the security detail, but. Uh, Seems like you got a bit of a plan uh, on that as well. Yeah. So if you say uh, gumballs out of the bag, do I start shooting everyone? I think, yeah, we all kind of unload at that point. <laughs> I have to warn you guys right now. I am not very good with my phaser. That's so. okay. I have, ext I'm a, I have pretty extreme. Yeah, you should be have precise aiming accuracy. systems That's right. built I'd, in. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get down to the planet, right? Sure. Well, let's do it. So, you guys beam down to the Corbanian Citadel. It is a domed structure with all sorts of vegetation and plants and very green. And you can see the kind of pink uh, surface outside. Mm. And mm. Uh, Darcy Gull and another Grimpen are uh, waiting there in the citadel atrium okay hey seagull who's your who's your friend here uh that is my sister norka gull cool. she's the foremost grimpen expert on the mooglu civilization perfect hello hello i'm hey. norka i'm very well i'm dr pleasure Thirsty. to meet you yes. hello hello so uh, let's uh, let's authenticate some ruins. How about that, huh? And uh, as you say that, two creatures enter into the atrium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! Hello, <laughs> oh, I am I am Kylo Dornell, and this is Klalu Dornall. <laughs> oh, so fleshy. Um... We are the Corbanians. Of Xerxes 9. Hello. Welcome to our citadel. Thank thank you for the warm welcome. Ooh. The Grimpen Empire also thanks you. Yes, yeah. would you enjoy some algae soup? Uh, mm, I'll try it. quite delicious. I don't eat. I'll have some. As okay. an android, I do not eat. That's um, fine, you don't have to explain that. <laughs> it well, tastes it's just not one of those weird models that you feed. It's kind of so, Lindsay. I'm. <laughs> it tastes disgusting, and uh -huh. I'm going to need you to make a feelings roll. Sure. To not throw up. To not retch in front of <laughs> Kate, Kylo, and Klalu. Got five. Oh. So I want to roll that... over, right? Yeah, how does the laser? Let's explain for the for the audience, audience. as well. Yes. Like, how, well, how does the lasers and feelings system work? If you're using lasers, you uh, want to roll under your number, right? And if you're using feelings, you want to roll over. Mm. And Lindsay uh, has a number of three. three. Yeah, yeah. Feelings. So if you were prepared, you'd get an extra die. If you were an expert, you'd get an extra die. And there's mm. other things that would give you extra dies. Sure. But in this case, it was just you were not prepared for that disgusting taste of algae <laughs> soup. Uh, but you did succeed by getting a, a five. Mmm, very um, viscous and um, smooth. 
We Corbanians enjoy viscous smooth things. It is our it is our most pleasant aesthetic. I see that. Um why don't you take a bite? Who are you speaking? <laughs> who are you asking to take a bite? <laughs> the person who gave me the algae soup. <laughs> Kalo so, uh, Dornil? Kalo? Yeah. Kalo Dornil? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm I, doing oh, this to see how they eat. <laughs> this? I see. This must be a custom of your people to share food. Yes, sure. I would be food. happy to consume this algae soup. Sure. Uh, and they kind of <laughs> throw it into their into their brain hole <laughs> and <laughs> slurp it. Oh, this it's is not it's not quite a perfect thing. Uh, <laughs> it, like, so it everywhere. kind of runs down their body. Oh, oh, this is a lot. This is a lot for me. <laughs> Happening right now. You shouldn't. Mm. You shouldn't have a, like a programmed sensory for like disgust. That's just not a good thing to have in it. Uh, you shouldn't either, right? So sorry that I'm, you know, a, mm. just sensitive to some things. <sighs> it's not how androids work. It's how this android works. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. So just get You're used like to it. The best android yeah. ever created. Yeah, uh -huh. I am very versatile and real. Unrealistic. Darcy Gull uh, tries to uh, also get in on some of the algae soup. Oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, grab a spoon, and, I guess. Yeah. Go for it. And then it. he quickly rushes to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> After eating it? <laughs> yeah. Mm, see? I see. Algae doesn't sit well with, with the uh, Grimpins, I guess. Norka's like, uh, no, I, I guess not. I think I'll I'll pass on the algae soup if that's okay. Smart, probably a smart choice. I would again, but I just don't. I can't eat. So no one's offering you, so you can relax. <laughs> I just wanted to be part of the conversation. Mm. Everyone seemed to be talking about the soup, <laughs> and uh, that can't you cannot really, partake. Can't really in. relate in, in right in that regard. <laughs> so mm. let's authenticate some ruins, huh? <laughs> would you like to travel to the Mooglu ruins now? Uh, sure. Yeah. Love to. Okay. Let's Should do we it. wait for the the Grimpin to return? Uh, I'm um, back. Oh, oh, good. Okay. <laughs> then I thought yes. you'd take a lot longer. Then yes, absolutely. We should wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, so right. he's back now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what? We'll head Do there I now. like one minute behind everyone? Do I need to rewire you variable? <laughs> Don't touch my wires. <laughs> Are we? So I guess we're getting in the transport. Mm hmm. Mm. It's like a. Uh, it's like a, a big old ATV, I guess, because we're kind of going through. <laughs> Just brainstorms come up with ATVs too. Apparently, yeah. they have kind of. Um, a unique control set where they just interface their brains directly into it. They one of their tendrils just they stick it in a hole and it. Ugh. Yeah, that's <laughs> so are completely we accurate. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm looking in interest as Doctor Thirsty. I'm just mm -hmm. uh, plugging so my you... nose, I guess. <laughs> For why? <what>? Why? <laughs> Does it always smell like this in the ATVs? Is that an air freshener or something? Yes, that's our, um, we like to freshen it up with, uh, some fern sprouts. Uh, it smells, um, it's very earthy, right? Earthy. Interesting, yeah. Do you, do you enjoy earth, uh, plants? Because I see a lot of them around. These are Carbanian ferns, similar oh. to earth ferns, but slightly oranger. Orange and because of the atmosphere, I have to assume. Well, they're from Carbania, which is different from Circe's Nine. We just have a colony here, but we imported our uh, ferns from home. Nice. Do you like our our ribbons? Your what? ribbons? No. Yes, we have we have bows on our heads. Yes, I. Oh, I. Yes, I've noticed that. It draws um, attention to how fleshy you are. So, um, <laughs> no comment. So it's a good thing. Um, for you, yes. No comment. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> I find it best to hold my tongue sometimes. Oh, uh, although you have not done so. I just at did all. I just today. did really well. I think. No, you, you did haven't. a great job of it. Okay, so you drive <laughs> up to these uh, pillars and uh, sort of ruins in the car in the Xerxes Nine kind of wastes. They look are, uh, very Roman. Uh, f- mm. Lieutenant Flux, what do you have to say about this? Well, uh, the, it, we actually don't know very much about the Mooglus. Uh, they seem to have uh, architecture ranging of all sorts. So, uh, I don't know. I can't even tell you what type of structure this was. Roman pillars seems very earthbound. I'm surprised to see the structure forming here. Hmm. Yes. Uh, I'm sure it's significant, and not just a a choice of limited (laughs) Google images. What am I saying? That's so, like, 2000 (laughs) Yeah, I've not heard of that. Before Corona. (laughs) Uh, The Great Cataclysm. Yes. (laughs) Mm. I've read about this in my history books. So you got, like, a scanner or something that we can use on this bad boy? We were hoping you brought your own equipment. No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Lieutenant oh. Flux. Uh, yes. Uh, we'll begin our scan right away. Hmm. Okay, cool. And let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do this. Darcy's like, Norka, why don't you begin our better scan? Well, that's just what what uh, makes we it were... better than ours? Yeah, uh, Seagull. I'm interested. It's just more precise. I see. So just more better. Yes, in well, every way. Maybe do you we design could... your own tech? Uh, Norka designs all of it. Oh, Norka. Wow. Good job. Maybe we could, you know, like compare notes or something. I don't think so. Well, don't we both want to know if this is authentic, you know, so we can properly negotiate? Brother, I think it would be a good idea. Yeah, I agree Mm, with Norka. Fine, do what what you must. Yeah, let's compare some notes. All right, Flex, let's... (laughs) Why did you just say that so evil? (laughs) What the hell? I'm sorry, did I come off evil there? I was just, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm not great at... Tactless? Yeah, I mean, sometimes the wrong, I project the wrong emotion. Uh huh. It's mm. a lot going on in this uh, big, expensive head of mine. Uh, Klalu is like, why don't we show you um, the prize of the ruins, the Muglu cave paintings? Sure. What's the, while yeah. while the engineers do their scans? All right, let's see them. I'll, so, uh, Lieutenant Flux. And Graviston are conducting scans with Norka, and the rest of you go into the cave to uh, the cave paintings. Mm. Awesome. You move down into a deep thing. It's less of a cave, and maybe it was more of like a basement area or something. Mm. Okay. (laughs) It's impressive. It's... uh... This uh, looks familiar. It's got Does like... It? Um, it, lo- it reminds me of the works of a certain artist based on Earth 2000 BC. Ooh. I'm gonna... Ooh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, continue. Um, a certain... <laughs> certain... Lesser known artist. I'm gonna describe this... Um, Yes, for my, please. For my log. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Take uh, a log of this. <laughs> uh, Captain Variable here. Um, or co-captain. Captain. Co-captain, what? I guess. Um, excuse Acting me? Acting captain. <laughs> You're already taking over that position. Uh... Uh, here to... De- I, I found a very interesting cave painting. It is... Uh, how do I describe it? <laughs> it has uh, bulbous yellow eyes. Um... It very jagged line work. Mess. A flaccid nose? I would say a flaccid <laughs> nose. A long flaccid nose covering its mouth. A hat that... I guess that's a hat? 
<laughs> hat that I guess hats. It hats. <laughs> Two little ears on it or something. Um, let's just say uh, I have seen children's drawings on of Earth. a similar And type. they look very similar to this. Yeah. Uh, the fingers are upsetting. And the belly button <laughs> is there. Upsetting. We don't believe that the Mooglus wore any clothes, just like us. Hmm, Most so higher life forms don't need clothes. Higher life forms? It, yes. Well, well, do we not qualify? In that yeah, scenario? sorry. You haven't evolved into your final brain state yet. Wow. I mean... That brain state includes um, just being a, a brain? Yes, as you... Uh, as your species evolves, you become more brain and need less clothes. We are mostly <laughs> brain now and have only bows in our heads. Mm. Oh, wow. Bows so, by, by choice, though. Mm. We hope to evolve beyond the, the need for bows soon. <laughs> so there's a need? Not a choice. Yes. I, I it's see. a cultural need. Uh-huh. So, Kalo, do you tend to... Uh, talk like this to your guests often who is kalo i am kalo dornell kalo dornell, dornell do you tend to talk to your guests like this often we don't get many guests here on uh, the so, remote xerxes nine i guess i'm just asking because imagine basically generally tries to um you know treat every uh, intelligent life form the same you know we don't try to uh uh, talk about things like evolution and how far they are evolved in intellectually and and these kinds of things i mean that's just our practice but i mean it's just a you know a social just, kind of faux pas it's just how we do us. things and it's clear that you don't so but that's fine i apologize have i in, in insulted you i'm just gonna hold on a second i just need to take a quick log of uh, of something nothing in particular mm. that's another that's a high road um did you? Is that, that's a high road. Okay, high road number two. <laughs> I put, put, okay, put, put my uh, log away. <laughs> that was all. That means the admiral sorry. will commend you for this. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so no offense necessary. We're we're, we're definitely. Um, it's like water off a duck's back. If you hmm. if you know what those are. Uh, probably they would not understand that. Uh, it's like water off a fern's leaf. <laughs> um. You notice, as you guys are having this discussion, that uh, Ensign Luckless is kind of looking over the cave painting, mm. um, and he kind of puts his hand on something. Oh, don't do that, Ensign. And several of <laughs> the runes around the cave painting light up, and uh -oh. then an energy beam shoots out and hits Ensign Luckless. Ah, there he goes. Oh, man. Oh, such no! A, such a bright future. Is uh, Ensign, uh, like, I go to survey Ensign, I guess. Yeah, you're the doctor. The fallen, if there, if there is a fallen body. <laughs> yes. He wasn't vaporized? Okay, so, I, yeah, I uh, kneel down next to his do body. Do your medical scan. I do you're my an expert medical on this, scan. So you get yeah. two rolls, but this is, I guess, a precise a move. Oh, a precise. A okay. lasers, yeah. Lasers, okay, so. So you have to roll under three, is that right? Mm-hmm. You, you have two chances, my app. Though. and it's a six-sided die for those for those listening. Yeah. Oh, so I just get two rolls on one dice, or, or, or two. You can roll you, two at the same time. You have, yeah, you have two chances basically to get it under three. Okay, so I got four the first roll. Mm -hmm. So no. And then one, one. Oh, the there second you go. Roll. I got it. Yeah. It's a, it's a success. Nice. Ensign Luckless is dead. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good job, doctor. I should have paid more attention to him. <laughs> I guess. You know, he wanted to be captain one day. I told him he probably would, and that was irresponsible, I think. Darcy well, Gall is like, these aren't just any ruins. This is some sort of weapon. Um, I have to well, that agree. Was, that was a kind of a jump. Why? Why do you think that? Seagull. Oh, I agree. Okay, so I jumped too soon too. Yeah. Why, um, why do you yeah. think that, Darcy? <laughs> why? Why? Because I mean, a laser shot out and killed a man. Well, let's that's, just think rationally very... through this, right? Okay. No one. It doesn't seem that this was an intentional 
place for someone to touch. It doesn't. There's no red button saying, "Please press here." Well, yeah, I mean, I mean but there is one dis- un- indisputable factor that is Ensign Luckless is dead because of it. So, I mean... You're right. But that doesn't mean that, that its intended purpose was to hurt Ensign Luckless, is what I'm trying to say. Let's well, what keep would our the minds intended, open. What would the intended purpose of this laser be, then? We would have to study it further. Study its <laughs> properties? See its effects on things other so, than living, <laughs> living people? Let me get this straight. You're thinking that maybe it the could have laser... just been a big microwave meant to heat up food. Oh, okay. <laughs> like sure. it could have been anything. Okay. We, we can't jump to conclusions like weapons. Right. Is what I'm saying. So it just wasn't. I don't think it's that big of a jump. So you're supposed and regardless to regardless <laughs> of regardless of its intended purpose, it obviously okay, can Seagull. be used as a weapon. Seagull, I have. I have some pretty helpful meditation and breathing exercises that you may want to. Um, try when we get upset like this. <laughs> I, I can tell when I'm being insulted. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm come, not Narco. We're you. leaving for the ship. Many beings need to center themselves in times of emergencies like this. Okay, he's gone. Norca, he you're storms still out. Uh, I should probably go. Norca, you can't stay just and, stay. and talk. You know, he's a hothead, and he'll cool down eventually. Uh, just say, have some. We'll we'll look at some, you know, artifacts. We'll have some fun. Well, I just wanted to pick your brain about. Um, oh, your sorry, bro- what, that your must brother. have been offensive to the. Uh, right. To the car boys. I... <laughs> to the to the what? To the what? <laughs> the car boys. Carbonians. Carbonites. Carbanians. Carbanians. That's right. Car Carbon. <laughs> I thought it was a fun nickname. My apologies, Carbanians. Um, okay, if you're gonna try to get Norca to stay, yeah, that sounds like a feelings roll. Sure, I'll try that. Try to convince her. Uh, and uh, I f- guess as a sexy doctor, you are an expert in convincing people to stay. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so I rolled a five. So, um, yeah, mm-hmm. Norca. Uh, I think it would be in your best interest to uh, stay here and, and talk a bit more with me. I suppose I could stay for a bit. Perfect. Uh, so, so what's up with your brother there? <laughs> <laughs> why, why is he? Why does he? Is, so, is he so fast to assume that this was a weapon? Um, well, people have said that the Grimpins, I guess, to other cultures, we seem kind of militaristic and expansive. Hmm. So, uh, it's kind of typical for. You know, the behavior of, of the males in our society to act this way? Hmm. Do you feel it's, oppressed by it in any way? Uh, sometimes. I, I can you know, see that, yes. I, I feel I'm more of a scientist, so I kind of wish, you know, that we didn't always have to make everything about war. Like, I really appreciate that you guys want to kind of study these ruins together, and I'm I'm kind of on your side where I think that there could be some other purpose to this. Oh, I don't want to wonderful. jump immediately to uh, to a weapon. Mm-hmm. Sure, it could be a, just like an open air microwave, uh, an mm. air fryer, if you will, too. You know, sure, could be, could be anything. I, you we know, just don't know anything about it. It's true. You know, we shouldn't jump to conclusions. You're right. But that's why uh, we're dedicated to studying this further. Yeah, and you are always welcome to join us and share our findings with your brother. So who's going to touch Whoa. this bad boy again? <laughs> Do a little touch and then jump out of the way or something. No. <laughs> no? That one's into it? Um, do we... We may have some sort of equipment that can touch this for You're right. Us. Well, maybe we should do a scan <laughs> or something. Use. Yeah. Lieutenant yeah, Flux, why don't you Lieutenant do a scan Flux. on this uh, yeah. drawing here? Uh, okay. Don't touch it. Yeah, whatever you Good. do, don't touch it. That's after. Maybe. <laughs> Um, can I speak to you for one second, though? Who, though? Who, though? Me? You want to talk to me? Uh, either, both? The okay. dual uh, captains, I suppose? Sure. Yeah, we'll be right back. Uh, they, you just kind of, as an aside, it's mm. like, we've, uh, definitely authenticated these ruins as being a Mooglu origin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Interesting. And what makes you say that? <laughs> 
what? I'm a doctor. I need to cover all the, the bases. The doohickey says authenticated. The doohickey. Yeah. This is our envoy, folks. <laughs> yeah, I'm good at uh, envoying. It's not, not just, so much it's not just the, uh, the doohickey, but also my extensive <laughs> knowledge of of Mooglu architecture and art. Uh, as you can, this okay, cave painting you kind say of uh, extensive. the deal. <laughs> yes. I asked you about the ruins and their Roman origins. You had nothing to say. <laughs> I just said that, you know, they. it's the techniques in which they used to build. However, they built things but in varying types of... how would they know how to build in of... that technique? Like, did, have they visited Earth during Roman time? Whatever. It's not important. All I'm saying there is... There are some theories <laughs> that Mooglus have been influencing other cultures. And so ancient aliens theory, theorization, then. I'm not familiar with this, this theory. <laughs> you're, not, you're not familiar with the ancient aliens Here theory. in Space Fleet, it's established that definitely aliens have been influencing cultures of, of various other aliens. We know that for a fact. All right. Yeah, we're all aliens, basically. Except for me, I am an android. Mm. It doesn't really count as yeah, anything. Yeah, we, we get a variable. You're so, an android. I mean, sometimes you want to <laughs> I mean, be treated finally. like a human, and other times you want to be exempt from things. From it's human it's things. really difficult to, yeah. under, to navigate. Thank you. I want to be treated <laughs> as just a, a rad android that has all the aspects of a human. Define but more rad. better. But more better. Um, you know. I don't, I don't mean to complain, but it's like it's, you're asking for the best of both worlds. You, well, the best asks for the best. Sorry? The best asks for the best. I think the wiring's kind of faulty in the variable's brain. I don't know. We might have to check that out later, Flux. Again, you're you're just, you're being really rude. So, all right. Well, you know what? (laughs) Um, What did you want to talk to us about again? So we've authenticated. It's just the, uh, I just wanted to let you know (laughs) that we had authenticated the ruins and then we kind of got drawn into... Uh, I mean, a pretty unprofessional, if I'm honest, <laughs> conversation that I feel, you know, I want to just... I'm professional. I want to just, yeah, I just mm-hmm. want to, you know, admit to my part of that, and mm. not blame anyone. You know, that was my fault, too. That's very good of you. Very That's good very of you. big of you. All right. Well, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm trying to learn from Space Fleet, you know? Yeah. The high road. That's, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I, I understand that part of our mission is accomplished. We authenticated these ruins, but... I'm concerned about the giant laser beam that shot out and killed like one of our one of our crew members and oh, it's a tragic death of luckless. The Grimpen uh, We're all shaken by that. I am. The Grimpen's being very uh, militaristic as described by Norca may take away the wrong lesson from that event. Hmm. Mm. So I think it would it might do us good to learn what that laser beam is yeah <laughs> and laser, sure it's well, not just a hidden weapon it could be you know laser beam open our microwave you don't know so let's go let's go check it out uh the comms flash on and it's oh. lieutenant gomez uh, uh well. sir, sirs that um captains co-captains mm-hmm. sure uh not the uh, the grimpen vessel is just Entered attack formation. Oh, that's bad. Why did it... Uh... See, this is what happens when you have hot heads in the seat. Let's connect... Uh, let's connect with the... Let's hail them. Can we do that? And put, uh, patch us through? Uh, certainly. Seagull comes on to the comms. You can see him in your little um, doohickey. Mm. Right. <laughs> the official the Starfleet, The space fleet issued doohickey. Yeah. Hey, Seagull? I'm claiming these ruins for the Grimpen Empire. Okay, but quick favor. Um, could you... Do you know any other formations than the, the, the attack formation? Because it keeps setting off our, like, hair trigger sensitivity system. Oh, I forgot. Ship. Red alert, red alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you could... Um, is there, like, a less... Is there another formation that yeah, you like Yeah, like a I, I want to think... talk to you formation. Because it's clear you just want to talk. Yeah. I I am prepared to attack. But like what why don't we talk a little bit, you know? Like We're talking now. But how, there's nothing yeah. to discuss. How I'm t- I'd like to discuss your frame of mind. Um do you feel that your heart is beating very fast? 
Let's just take a second to be mindful of uh, of how we're feeling right now. My I'm... two hearts are beating at the normal rate. Are they? I'm yes. sensing a heightened sense of anxiety. You for seem me. heightened, for sure. Um, okay, I don't... <laughs> Perhaps I am a little heightened, but that's just the thrill and passion of claiming territory, which right. us, us Grimpins love. Seagull, I know a lot about passion and thrill. Mm -hmm. And I know, I know some of it, a bit about no, territory. No, you don't know any. I know a bit yeah, about territory. Yeah, you know some things about territory. <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you something about passion and thrill. Is it's best obtained when shared with other people. If Ooh, you understand this, what I'm saying. Uh, this, this is a feelings like, roll for sure. This sounds yeah. like a feelings roll. <laughs> yeah, the I'm one that you're that. an expert on as well. Yeah. Uh, should I do two then? Uh, yes, two. Okay. First roll was three. Second roll was six. So we'll go with the Ooh, three. Okay. So it's a, it's, a, it's a mild success? Yeah. I can't say that you're... You're... Uh, discussion here is and doesn't intrigue me uh, sure. what did you have in mind well i i have to say um i don't want to make any assumptions about the grimpins and their enjoyment of sexual pleasure but i have to <laughs> i'd have to ask seagull when was the last time that you've indulged in such pleasures i'm gonna drop off the call for a second <laughs> I, that's okay. These uh, are matters of a of a physician and doctor, so you can feel confident in that just doesn't feel discussing this with me. It just doesn't feel appropriate for me to be here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Bye. Is like <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't feel appropriate for me to be here either. That's okay. But psst, it was a long time. It's been a long time for him. He hasn't uh, had a girlfriend for a real long time. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry <laughs> to hear that, Seagull. She's quiet, sister. <laughs> Is it, uh, is this a usual problem or is this something that, um, you find personally affects you? The, which, which, uh, I, I've lost the plot here. I, I'm talking I was about trying... your frigidity as, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, um, it's tough to meet people, you know, and. When you're out there grabbing territory for the Grimpen Empire and you feel like you uh, yes, always I... have something to prove because your stupid father lost a bet to some dumb captain. I can uh, fully understand. Um, and like I was saying before, uh, it's uh, being part of Space Fleet has really helped me with that personally. I find well, I also I... had problems meeting people. I see. Okay. Um. What well, I'd like to s say to you now is that I'm extending a, a truce, so to speak. Maybe too soon to assume, you know, uh, anything more. But we'd like to work with you still. Before you seize any territories, how would you like to, to work with, closer with Space Fleet? And possibly co closer with me? Hmm. Well, I, I need to sort of frame this as... Some in some way that uh, achieves my honor for the Grimpen Empire. If you can help me do that, then if we can sure. find some way of of me gaining some honor or renown from this, but also for sure this being a, you know a mutually beneficial thing, then that would be preferable. The only thing that I personally ask is that you sh share your uh, culture with me. And I, in return, can offer you, I don't know, what Grimpen see in the uh, arena of sexual conquest. On Earth, it's a very big deal. <laughs> but uh, with Grimpens, I'm not sure. But I can definitely offer that. I can offer well, I... my also my own personal <laughs> sexual experiences, if you are open to that. But if not, I understand. <laughs> well, I think that that would be, that would definitely satisfy my honor. So... <laughs> If that's, you know, yes. Uh, Perfect. Okay, well, can we... I we don't can know, set have, something up have later. Some, <laughs> have some drinks first or something? Or? For sure. <laughs> of course. Whatever you're comfortable with. We could have some okay. drinks whenever you well, would like. 
Then uh, I demand that negotiations for Space Fleet and Grimpen be completely fair, and we both have access to this, and we and we uh, share all relevant information. Perfect. Thank you. Sia. Okay. What's the, was there a deal? Yes. Oh uh, shit! What was it? It's that I that I fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> then we then we can both have access to the ro- to the roots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, the raptor's down to yellow alert after after that. Nice. Yellow for... Um, and, uh... Okay, so uh, I'll talk to you uh, soon. I'll just be orbiting around uh, here. Uh, for sure. I, I'll be excited to uh, share that drink with you later. Uh, excellent. Okay. I'm... Thank you, Dr. Thirsty. It's, it's been a pleasure. My pleasure. My yes. pleasure. <laughs> okay. Jarcy Gull goes off of the call. <laughs> oh, uh, that was weird, says Norka Gull. Don't question my methods, Mor- Norka. I can no, work I su- wonders when I need to. I super appreciate it. He seems to have really calmed down. Do you need uh, any advice? You know, just ask. I, for I, sure. I, I really approve of this. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, Dr. Thirsty, I... I see your value in a, Oh, do you now? Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's uh it's a it's an odd one. Uh but the um uh, Cardanians are like, as do we. Hmm. We have much to learn and perhaps we misjudged you as being lesser life forms, but that was very intriguing and very high minded. Well, th- thank you very much. Um Yes. Yeah, we're all impressed with Dr. Thirsty. Okay, it's... <laughs> if, if that interest in sexual conquest ever extends to Carbania, please let us know. Um, we'll discuss details later, but I'm definitely interested. <laughs> please, okay. accept this, please accept this ribbon as a token of our thanks. And they give you one of their ribbons. It's kind of slimy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, no, they're like very smooth. Smooth. You know? oh. It's a little. It's a little. Yeah. It's a little um, moist, but <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> sweaty. It's actually fresh. It's in a. It's in a bag. It hasn't been used yet. That's a real oh, roller coaster. Okay, like a real roller kind coaster of, of emotions <laughs> with this ribbon. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll treasure this. It's, it's been a great honor. Uh, as but it's us. not over, guys. We have to scan this this drawing. I don't. We ha- we never did that. Right. Well, we will. We, I mean, we're. Uh, we should say this. <laughs> Lieutenant Flux kind of whispers, like, we just need to negotiate the, you know, to be able to do the research. The research will take several months. Yeah. Hold on, just a second. Let me uh, pull up my uh, my to do list here. Hmm. It's on. I got. I got picture in picture again. Yeah, yeah. You're right. We checked all the boxes. Okay, cool. Uh, never mind. Co-captain here says we we've done all the things. I we accomplished our mission. Congratulations, team. Congratulations. Uh, Can I get some feels... enthusiasm, everybody? Like, what's going on? Well, here? I mean, well, someone confused. did die. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Do we, it feels a little grim to do this high fiving over the over corpse this dead body. Luck, luckless. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. That's uh that's true. Uh, and you know what? We will have proper funeral and ceremony for Ensign uh, Luckless back a on space the space fleet funeral. Yes, the proper space fleet funeral. Where we wrap him up in a clean sheet and put him in a little pod. And send him off into the space. That's right. Either. And then drink champagne as is, as is customary. Yes. That is the space fleet way. Nork mm. is like, well, thanks for everything. I, I hope we can work together in the future. So um, do, as I'll do be, I. I'll be here doing the research. And uh, I'm really cool. glad that, you know, we, we came to something so that we can work with space fleet. I think that... Uh, the hostility between our peoples is not necessary. Yeah, totally. Yeah, same. So we'll text you. <laughs> we'll get okay. With the texting. <laughs> I'll I'll give you our space number. Sure. Cool. See, they know what's up. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Okay. So we'll see so, you uh, around, and uh, yeah. we'll shoot you a text if we need to come back down here to look at the drawing again. It's a good drawing. You really, you really love that drawing, huh? <laughs> um, I find it intriguing. Um, but no. <laughs> but no. <laughs> it's an excellent piece of Mooglu art. Says I, Kalo. It's Danil. Def- like I said, it's definitely intriguing. It's definitely uh, minimalist and um, kind of simplistic. So. I prefer to think, you know, exp- expression, expressionist, and uh, and iconic. Yeah, I can yeah. agree. Okay, but we can argue the the details of <laughs> the blue art. Merit. Yeah, later. Yeah, later. That's enough for another time. You're right. <laughs> well. Okay, we look forward to a, a continuing partnership between the Carbanians, Space Fleet, and the Grimpen Empire. Awesome. So, Norka, yeah, we'll see you, see you around. Yeah, and, I'm just uh, going to stay here and work on the we're research. Just, we're going <laughs> to shoot on up to the ship, have a quick funeral. Mm. <laughs> you know how it goes. So, okay. yeah, beam us up. Uh, and engineer Gomez. Sorry, shoot us up. Beam us up. That's yes, a, that's a different thing. Oh. We will. Sh- we'll use the shoot array to <laughs> bring you to. <laughs> what? Okay, so we're Why gonna. Why are we calling it shooter? <laughs> it's just what it got called. It got okay. called the shooter up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> shoot me up. Shoot me up. That sounds so bad. So there you are in. Uh, in orbit around Xerxes 9 after a very successful mission. Unfortunately, tragically, Hanson Luckless was, was killed. Mm. Um, so much for that great laser. ass. <laughs> yeah, it's a real tragedy. Yeah, would either of you like to say a few words as we gather around and remember Hanson Luckless uh, and celebrate a successful mission? Sure, I'll say a few. Mm. Uh... Ensign Luckless was a leader in Ensign form. <laughs> he was going places. I saw it in his eyes. Uh, you, had, but, you, but his shirt told us otherwise. Um, oh, was, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for jumping in there. Um, <laughs> I, I thought I saw the perfect opportunity. I seized it. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> he, he had great posture. Um, I think... Uh, you know, you could really get lost in those eyes. Mm, the posture is just, it's really... It's good. It makes its makes a man. Uh, yeah, really. I mean, some might say. But I do think that uh, that because of that posture, he would have been a captain uh, if he didn't die so suddenly and tragically. And for that, I say, uh, fuck that drawing. What? <laughs> The drawing killed him. I was saying, fuck the drawing. The drawing killed yeah. him. Oh, okay. Mm. Got beamed by a laser after he touched the drawing. It's fuck that mm. drawing. Okay. I'd like. I'd just like to say, if I take partial responsibility for this man's life, <laughs> I, I I told him to stay directly ahead of me at all times, and I I did not follow up on those directives, and I I feel it is my responsibility that he stepped out of line and touched that cave drawing and and this fate has befallen him and i apologize you know we can all do better i think that's one thing we we learned a lesson we can all do better here for sure in the future okay and then you jettison (laughs) ensign luckless out into space and uh drink champagne and have a little bit of a party (laughs) yeah and later later that space day um Dr. Thirsty receives a text, a space text from Seagull, mm. uh, setting it up, you know? Oh, and yes. And that concludes this episode of Lasers and Feelings. All right. Perfect. We decided to call this episode Big Moods and Mooglus. <laughs> Big Moods and Mooglus. So, uh, this... Um, yeah, this was real fun. I, I mm-hmm. had a good time. This was, yeah. It was so uh, we thought fun. it'd be nice to do, like I said at the top, it'd be nice to do a different game for the test, just in case anything went wrong. We didn't want to lose a Dark Future Dice episode. 
uh, with the doll maker and everything like that. So um, mm-hmm. I think uh, we had planned to do one more of these, and I think we are going to go through with that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So expect that uh, ne- the next episode to be another Lazes and Feelings, and after that we'll get back to the episode, uh, the doll maker episode. Yeah, um, I didn't really uh, include any NPC names. I didn't really know uh, how this would work out, so I just made mm-hmm. up names for this one. But uh, we do appreciate everyone that's uh, been supportive and sharing our podcast with the other people. And uh, thank you to all the fans. Yeah. yeah. One thing we didn't talk about at the beginning was that uh, this is also the first episode we did since we did our live stream uh, in March. Um, that's right. And uh, that was a great time. Like, really, uh, we mm-hmm. we thought about canceling it because of, um, you know, the whole COVID thing. And uh, we decided to, you know, go for go forward with it. Um, and we you got you helped us all get to our next goal, mm-hmm. um, which is another live stream, which is another live stream. We mm-hmm. had already uh, reached our goal. That's why we were doing the live stream. And then we just hit our next goal immediately after we announced the Patreon changes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that was super huge. Yeah. So um, we are planning to do another live stream and this time we're going to do a one shot live. Uh, mm-hmm. and that will be, so yeah, that'll be fun to do. Um, yeah. We'll, uh, obviously have to just test this, uh, remote stuff out a little bit more before jumping into that, but mm-hmm. we'll, we'll let everyone know when we're ready to do that. And we're yeah. also very close to our next goal, which is at 300, mm. which is for the Discord. Um, Ooh, yeah. And that would be actually great to have in the, this time being that we are all very disconnected. Yeah. Uh, it would be nice to have a place for our community to hang out. So. Yeah. We were talking, too, about some interesting things that we could do with the Discord, where we have, like, a GM's Corner, where yeah. people are able to ask about running their own games and... and talk about that and discuss that and some other things like fan theories mm. for uh, dark future dice where people can talk about who they think the doll maker is or what they think is happening in the main story and fan art uh, finally and, a place to put your fan art that would yeah, be cool a great directory of fan art where we can uh, really put up all the great stuff that people have been sending to us mm-hmm. in a you know place where uh, we can show it off in a yeah. good way um yeah so if you're interested in helping us reach that goal you can uh, go to check check out our patreon patreon.com slash rocket adrift and there uh you'll find some new tiers that we made um where you get the episodes actually a day early now if you're a patreon at uh any level mm-hmm. or is it just a two dollar level no, no two dollar yeah two dollar level mm-hmm. if you get joined at the two two dollar level you get uh you get the um episodes one day early and then there is the music and art level we've already put a bunch of music on there and also some desktop uh wallpapers like art and wallpapers and stuff like that we did wallpapers for your phone uh there's a bunch of great stuff i won't go through everything right now but if you go and check it out all there uh you maybe you find a tier you're interested in uh, help us out yeah and as always uh, we understand if you can't uh support us that way but we appreciate everyone that's uh been helping to spread the word and letting other people know about the mm. podcast and getting people uh, on board and listening to us. Uh, we've, you know, we're still getting new fans despite uh, everything that's going on in the world, and that's super cool to us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, so, yeah, again, stay safe out there. Hope mm. everything mm-hmm. everyone's doing stay well. Healthy. Stay healthy, and uh, we'll be back mm-hmm. with more uh, lasers and feelings in a couple weeks. And then after that, we'll be back to Dark Future Dice, Dollmaker. Mm. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.